break it down in individually, some of the things that she did don't really seem to be suspicious at all. But when you kind of see the, the forest instead of the trees, um, you, you can certainly see that there was a plot there. A murderous plot unfolded on Father's Day in Loudoun County. Prosecutors say Kimberly Hopkins planned to murder her mom during a manicure and sedate her dad with a pot roast. Investigators call the crime one of the most unusual cases they have faced. Well, tonight, 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan tells us how detectives figured it out and shows us the to-do list for death that she left behind. Loudoun County, 911, where's your emergency? Father's Day 2018. Our life is in danger. Kimberly Hopkins, 80-plus-year-old parents were locked inside their home as she rang the doorbell. Hopkins had run away after her plan to kill her parents went off the rails. She tried to tie up her mom during a manicure and poisoned a pot roast to subdue her dad. Her parents are pretty well-to-do, and I believe that, uh, that it was financially motivated. When deputies arrested her, the prosecutor says she had an explanation ready. She talked about how her parents' condition was deteriorating, how it was failing, and how, because of their failing health, that they wanted her to help her kill them. Hmm. And they say? No, they adamantly deny it. She bought the assisted suicide book Final Exit with her parents' credit card. Inside, an explanation of how to die using helium tanks, something she also bought. But that was ultimately how she was going to kill her mother and try to make it look like an assisted suicide. It was not until detectives found this to-do list in Kimberly's car that they figured out her plan. It was in her handwriting, and it was basically the size of a post-it note. On the top, it says day of. Gloves are underlined. TV on. Lights outside off. Among the items on Kimberly's list, electric blankets. I think that probably would have been to keep the bodies warm, uh, to kind of throw us off as to how long they'd been gone. Duct tape, etc. with dad is written at the bottom. There was even a note that said uh, stomach contents determine TOD, which we thought was time of death. The Loudoun County Sheriff's Office charged her with attempted murder. Kimberly pleaded guilty last month, but not before prosecutors say she tried to kill one more time. There were a couple of um, inmates here at the jail who Kimberly approached um, and tried to solicit their help in possibly taking care of her dad. Kimberly promised them TVs and cash if they snuck in and killed him when her mom wasn't home. The prosecutor says she thought her mom would then drop the case. You know, her, her dad really wanted to see her get uh, the maximum punishment that was available, and her mother was, was very, very forgiving, uh, even to the point she would have been content if we would have considered dismissing the charges. In Teleco Village, Cole Sullivan, 10 News. Kimberly Hopkins is serving 15 years. She is eligible for parole next December. You can read the whole true crime story on our website, WBIR.com. We also have evidence photos from investigators posted there as well.